Beneath the vast Arctic sky, a spectacle of light unfolds. The northern lights, a marvel of the cosmos, paint the heavens with a palette only nature could hold. In the silence of Lapland's winter, the aurora borealis weaves its magic, casting a spell of wonder. Join us as we chase this elusive wonder, seeking the secrets behind Aurora's veil. Welcome to Lapland, where wonder and adventure collide. The stark white canvas of winter provides the perfect backdrop for Aurora spotting. But it's not just about gazing upward, it's about immersing yourself in the magic. Hop on a dog sled, feel the rush of snowmobiling, and try your hand at ice fishing. Lapland beckons, the northern lights await, and the Arctic whispers secrets only the brave dare to uncover. Occasionally, the sun experiences significant eruptions, releasing vast amounts of solar material into space known as a solar storm. This stream of charged particles journeys to Earth, where our planet's magnetic field deflects the majority towards the polar regions. It is the interaction of these particles with Earth's atmospheric gases that generates the spectacular auroras. While direct travel to the North Pole is not possible, destinations such as Iceland, Tromsø in Norway, and Lapland in Finland offer proximity to these polar light displays. Auroras emerge from a fascinating dance between the solar wind and Earth's atmospheric shield. The solar wind, a stream of charged particles emanating from the sun, engages with Earth's magnetic barrier. This cosmic encounter sparks a glow in the atmospheric gases, mainly oxygen and nitrogen. As a result, they radiate an array of brilliant hues, including emerald, crimson, azure, and violet, painting the sky with their luminous ballet. Many people wonder about the frequency of witnessing the aurora. On nights when the sky is clear, there's a good chance of spotting the northern lights, even if it's just a faint display. They may not always be vivid, dramatic spectacles, but with a bit of fortune, you might observe a subtle glow moving across the heavens. It's advisable to venture out after dark whenever there's a possibility of an unobstructed sky. The pursuit of the aurora often starts in the afternoon, involving consultations of various meteorological websites and communication with fellow enthusiasts across the area. Armed with these insights, you can formulate a plan of action, typically setting out on your journey by 7 p.m. However, during the polar night, you might find yourself embarking even earlier, around 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. Since clouds can obscure the celestial view, it's wise to check the weather forecast at least once. For enthusiasts of the Northern Lights, summer often becomes a time to explore other interests. During this season, the auroras remain elusive. After all, it's challenging to observe something that isn't always visible. The sun doesn't consistently behave the same way. It operates on an 11-year cycle, known as the solar cycle. Within this cycle, there are periods of relative calm, aptly named the minimum, when phenomena like sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections are scarce. Following this tranquil phase, the sun becomes more active, leading up to the maximum phase. The solar maximum is the prime time for witnessing the northern lights. During this phase, the sun emits a flurry of sunspots, solar flares, and CMEs, resulting in breathtaking displays of auroras. These celestial phenomena dance across the sky, captivating observers. Currently, we find ourselves in solar cycle 25, which commenced around December 2019, with the solar minimum. Initially, scientists predicted that the solar maximum would peak around June 2025. However, the sun has surprised us by displaying more activity than anticipated. This unexpected behavior could imply one or both of the following scenarios. The solar maximum might arrive earlier than expected. This cycle could exhibit significantly higher activity levels than initially forecasted. The season for observing the northern lights is quite extensive, lasting about eight months. However, during approximately four months of the year, the phenomenon of the midnight sun takes over the sky, making it difficult to spot the auroras. As the season unfolds, various factors change, offering distinct experiences each month.
to begin with, the natural landscape undergoes a metamorphosis from fall through winter and into spring, bestowing a special ambiance upon each month. Additionally, the weather patterns shift significantly as the months pass, which in turn affects how well one can see the northern lights. Certain months may present more transparent and tranquil skies, increasing the likelihood of a memorable sighting. Furthermore, the equinoxes play a crucial role. Around the times of the autumn equinox and the spring equinox, the Earth is subject to almost twice as many geomagnetic disturbances as during the winter solstice. This has a profound impact on both the intensity and occurrence of the northern lights. For a deeper insight, consider reflecting on the previous northern light season. While each season is distinct, there are recurring patterns that tend to manifest consistently over the years. Auroras manifest in a variety of forms, Drapery-like veils, sweeping bows, overhead halos, luminous columns, flickering displays, and radiant halos. Veils of auroras are akin to celestial curtains, with vertical, sinuous streaks of light that drape across the night sky. Bows are majestic, curving lines that stretch across the horizon, forming an enchanting arc. Overhead halos are circular arrays of light, that create a breathtaking, almost three-dimensional spectacle. Luminous columns rise from the horizon, standing tall like pillars of light, while flickering auroras vary in brightness, creating a mesmerizing show. Radiant halos are concentric circles of light that emanate from a central point, enchanting onlookers with their symmetry. The distinct hues and shapes observed are influenced by the aurora's elevation, the specific atmospheric gases they interact with, and the prevailing solar wind's power. The spectacle of auroras is fluid and ever-evolving, offering an enthralling and unforeseeable display of nature's grandeur. The Northern Lights, also known as Aurora Borealis, are a sought-after spectacle, particularly in higher northern regions. Adventurers trek to these locales to witness the celestial dance. The best views are under the cloak of night, away from urban illumination, where the sky is clear and dark. The prime viewing season extends from September through April, with the zenith occurring in the deep winter months of December to February. The pristine wilderness of Finnish Lapland, with its unspoiled, starry heavens, stands out as an ideal vantage point for these ethereal lights. Towns like Rovaniemi, Sariselka, and Ivalo serve as gateways to this magical experience, drawing visitors from around the globe. Gazing upon a vast canyon, it unfolds before you, yet when you lift your eyes to the northern lights, it's as if you ascend into the cosmos, venturing into a domain seldom visited. This celestial display offers a moment to immerse in the marvels of the natural world. It invites us to return home, carrying with us dreams of serenity and tranquil moments. Beyond capturing the aurora's beauty, my cherished pastime in these regions was guiding the huskies. Steering a pack of dogs through the snowy expanse is an indescribable joy. The silent partnership between human and canine, moving in unison across the frosty landscape, is a profound experience that fills one with a sense of elation. It's a harmonious journey through the pristine, snow-laden terrain that stays with you long after the journey ends. As we wrap up our Lapland adventure, chasing the elusive northern lights, we hope you've enjoyed this celestial spectacle with us. If you found yourself captivated by the Aurora Borealis, please like this video, remember to subscribe and share the wonder.